Bitcoin, Solana, and a ton of other coins are just smashing through their highs, creating new all-time highs. We're going to talk everything crypto, you know, the hottest news. Before we get into that, actually, let's go over our last small giveaway. So as you guys have noticed, every video we're doing, you could win, you know, $25, $50, $100 in crypto. All you have to do is subscribe, comment, and like the video. So let's go into our last video. That was the largest Bitcoin event happening, Bitcoin Mina, and we're going to fetch a random comment and they're going to win $50 in Bitcoin. And then let's jump into the hottest news. So Steve Hawk, um, I will follow you on YouTube, change your description to your Bitcoin address, and you just won $50 worth of Bitcoin, sir. And if he doesn't do that, let's just pick the second one right now. Lindsay B409, you're the second up. So if um, the first winner does not do that in 24 hours, um, we'll give him 48 hours actually. Then you are the next runner up. So I'll subscribe to both channels. Make sure to change your wallet addresses and you guys will get that crypto. If you want to win crypto, make sure to hit that comment button. So let's get right into this. First of all, we have, I mean, some of the largest news, I think. Gary Gensler stepping down as the SEC Gov Chair. Um, that's huge. This guy has been literally AIDS to the crypto. Uh, to the whole crypto ecosystem. And now, I think it's a reflection of Bitcoin's price. So if we take a look at BTC, it is just ripping. I think in some exchanges, it has hit $100,000. But currently, um, with what I'm looking at, I think the top is 99500 are we going to break $100,000 today? It would be a really great day. Um, and fun fact, that is actually one of my another 100Xs in the crypto market. I got in around January 2017, January 6th. I still have the first wallet that I got my first Bitcoin on. Um, so that is a clean 100X. And I'll be holding this bad boy to a million dollars and beyond. So... Let's keep going into why Bitcoin might be breaking its all-time highs. It is now the seventh most valuable asset in the world and soon will overtake Amazon and Google. That's huge, guys. And I think this is even bigger. Donald Trump Crypto's Advisory Council expected to set up a strategic Bitcoin re uh, reserve. And let's look at this quick. Trump has promised crypto-friendly administration a council likely to be housed within White House and will likely coordinate policy set up for a Bitcoin reserve. The industry wants end to Biden enforcement actions. Good riddance. And this guy, my uh, Michael Saylor, fucking degen of the year, and all his risk has totally paid off. He's still aping billions of dollars. He's tall blasting here. He... I think it was about $88,000 that he got in. Maybe it was a little bit higher, but this guy is not stopping. He's putting his money, you know, where his mouth is. He's not just talking. He's just, he's literally tall blasting, buying as billions of dollars of Bitcoin at any price, usually at the tops. But you've seen over a 10-year period of time, Bitcoin has risen over 100% per annum at, the, at, at a 10-year time frame. Use it as a savings account. Everybody still has that unit bias in their mind. Like, oh, Bitcoin's so high. Use it as a fucking bank account. $100, $10, $1,000 a month. It is going up compared to fiat. And Bitcoin ETFs are catching up to gold ETFs. Take a look at this. In no time, we're going to crush this. And, and this is just in 11 months. The uh, performance is just insane. You still have... What is it, 95, even maybe 99% of countries are, are have a reserve of Bitcoin, have even clear regulation about crypt Bitcoin or crypto. Still a lot of uncertainty. And, you know, you could either get on the ship or let it sail. And if you've been still waiting to get into Bitcoin, it's never too late. Put in a couple hundred dollars, put in $10. That's the beauty of it. Splits into 100 million different pieces. So let's keep moving on to 
some of the hottest news, Coinbase lists Flocky, and that sparks, I mean, a whole conversation of what are the next uh, meme coins that are going to be listed. We're seeing a huge shift in the investing landscape. You know, coming from investing as a fund, you have people like retail that has realized that they don't want to invest or buy or trade high FTV coins, coins that are launching at hundreds of millions of dollars with a low float, with most of it vested and locked up. And they don't want to be exit liquidity no more. They're looking for coins, specifically meme coins or hot coins, which is most of the action is going down on Solana. And we also broke all-time highs today. A lot of coins broke all-time highs. I even think XRP did. So a lot of people want to make money. And how is that? Finding coins that have low market caps, finding coins that are fully vested and not backed with like VCs holding majority of the tokens and just dumping on y'all. And getting into those coins early, finding the narratives early, and that's what retail is good at, finding narratives and being at the front of the trenches. And VC, the whole landscape uh, investing is changing and we're seeing now companies uh, lowering their valuations and having to adapt to this because there's no real buy pressure for these types of products anymore and airdrops will never get old i wanted to touch on this because we made a video on magic eden so 300 million dollars worth of magic eden tokens to be airdropped i don't know the exact date but um you know, that's a big win for anybody who, one, has been on Magic Eden, two, watched our videos on the airdrop. So make sure to subscribe because we're going to be giving you guys the hottest news, hottest airdrops, hottest trades, and all that great stuff. And we'll be giving away cryptocurrency the whole way through. I wanted to share this because I thought it was, it's not funny, but South Korea confirms North Korea behind the upbit hack. It's like, they're just telling on their fucking brothers, you know? And... That is worth, that $50 million is worth over a billion dollars. Don't screw with North Korea. They got crypto. They got mad money. You don't want to screw with those guys. And let's touch on SUI as well. So let me bring up the SUI chart. Even though it was down for over two hours, kind of giving you those Solana vibes last cycle, like this is so clean, this chart right here. Um huge run up you get a nice pullback into the previous all-time high zone and then it just shot up to make new highs at approximately almost four dollars so regardless of the suey uh black out or the outage whatever you want to call it price is still soaring suey is you know extremely popular right now they even got a lot of memes flying around i haven't do dove into the ecosystem yet so if you have Am I missing out? Let me know in the comments. And I wanted to bring this up as well. Dex Tools has launched the official uh, launch pad. I'm also the CEO, so I might be biased, but we're hosting our first launch, which is going extremely well right now. And we have a lot of launches coming up, so you do not want to miss out. If we go back to Coin Market Cap. Let's take a look at some of the coins that have done best this week. You have Mantra giving you a double up, Stellar giving you a double up, Hedera, XRP. I'm not sure if XRP broke all time highs, but let's go take a look at that. And these are all these dino coins that honestly didn't perform well last cycle, but are now just just firing away. Maybe XRP's going because, you know, your boy Gary just resigned. But look at that candle. Oh, that's a monthly candle. Let's go on the daily. It's still pretty impressive on this run-up right here. I know a lot of people who held XRP for years and then just kind of capitulated, and now it's running up hard. You have the FTX token, which is performing well. Imagine the paybacks. If you lost on FTX and you're getting crypto back, you're actually getting more than you lost in terms of dollar value. You're going to get the same or least amount of crypto. And then you have Cardano, Flare, Quant, and then Bonk. Optimism, Arbitrum, just to name a few, but pretty much dino coins from 2017-18 that are performing extremely well right now. So 
Just wanted to do a quick roundup on the news, share my thoughts, share some hot pieces coming out. This is a, a new style that we're going to be trying. So we're going to be releasing like the hottest tokens we think that are going to do well. We shared Monkey two, three days ago, and that's in line with what I told you guys. 10 million market cap, uh, community token, huge airdrop to Flocky holders. And then we shared the Bitcoin video yesterday. And now we're going to be, you know, doing news, airdrops, trades, opportunities, and just giving as much value as possible. So hit the subscribe button and I'll see you guys tomorrow.